if you pan the camera to your right over there or over there you will see the Ohio River I don't even think a bass lives in the Ohio River y'all comment below but I think that place actually does suck I ain't opening the channel up right now because I got look I have spilt cut the camera <laughs> cut the camera <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back to the channel guys, here we are. Guess where we're headed? To the gas station apparently. <laughs> if you pan the camera to the dash, beep, low fuel level. Goodbye, quick. Huh? I feel like we just stopped. Yeah, we gotta go get some gas right now. We are currently in Illinois, okay? There is no wind right now. If you look over here at these big giant wind turbines, there ain't no wind. But just get ready because we are going to the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota. We're headed to Millax for our last tournament. State 7, it's good to have everybody back. This is a travel vlog, and I am just trucking down. I don't know what road this is. I think we're on like 57 or something. But here's what we're going to do we're about to make a little post. Anybody know of some good lakes near Millax, Minnesota? Bop getting up here like a day early we're trying to find the juice because minnesota has got them we're in route we've been trucking for about nine going on 10 hours now y'all join us this is about to be a fun trip we appreciate you having us we appreciate us having you thanks i'm going a tad bit loony from driving brent who's just sat over there and just scrolled on instagram played on facebook all day we're 10 hours in and we're just now opening this trip i damn near run out of jolly rancher so we'll catch y'all at the gas station i do recall that was like 67 dollars do y'all recall those days they're long gone <laughs> They just are. I'm gonna give y'all a quick fact and show you how old I am, which y'all probably already know how old I am. I remember when gas was, I'm gonna mess you up on this. I remember when it was 93 cents. I got it at 88. I can remember when it was 88 cents. You I'm older than you. Beat, bro. I'm older than you. 93 cent gas, I remember it. I used to ride my go-kart to the gas station near my house. My brother would drive me over there, but we'd go there with like two bucks. Fill up the go kart. Now it takes like thirty nine dollars to fill up a go kart. Yeah, one gallon tank. One gallon tank. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about getting a diesel, but I keep looking at this gas prices. And I'm like, I don't know about it. But hey, look, you gotta have it. Might as well just burn it up in this tundra, baby. I love it. Let's go. All right, here we are in Beloit. Is it Beloit? Uh, no, nah, we ain't in, no. Nah, I don't know. We're in Rockford. I don't know where we're at. We're in Rockford, Illinois. So last time I came up here, we stayed in Beloit, which is right on the other side of the line in Wisconsin. And y'all look what we have found up here. We're pretty much up north. A Texas Roadhouse. Listen to Eric Church. Brock. Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna give it a straight up honest 8.3. 8.3 always. Texas Roadhouse solid. I still don't even know what town we're in. We're at a La Quinta. There's a big Walmart over here. Rockford. Um, We've talked about this. We're in. Yeah, Rockford. but there's a Rockford, Alabama too. So I don't. I don't think of Rockford. All right. So look. La Quinta Inns. <laughs> La Quinta, La Quinta Inn. All right, I stayed in one in Arkansas. This, this sucker's brand new, so I got high hopes. But we gotta check these pillows inside this La Quinta. So I'm gonna give y'all some quick tips. These hotels, they think they're slick because they give you these feather pillows. Like, oh, they're so soft and like, 
No, they're too soft. They're literally that thin. So when you mash them, they turn into that. I got to put three of them on my neck so it don't break in the middle of the night. So I'm going to ask her for some firm pillows. If they don't have none, pan the camera right here. Let me see it. Let me pan this thing. What are you pan it? Oh, that's a zoom. I, it ain't naturally. We're going to the Walmart to get this ain't, firm pillows. Flip that around. This is about you. This ain't about me. Firm pillows from the Walmarts. I've been driving 12 hours. We're going to bed. Tomorrow we're going to stomp toads. We'll catch you in the morning. Coffee's too hot. Y'all ever had hot coffee? Listen, um, I'm not a big coffee fan, but I do drink coffee. Y'all ever had coffee before? It burned your whole lip in half? It's too hot. Comment below the best temperature on coffee because a lot of places, I don't know why they make it so damn hot. You can't even taste it. I put three creamers in there, three sugars. That's what I normally do. And then when I taste it, my whole lip starts withering away. It's too hot. Damn. Dead serious. Like, this is not a joke. I'm on, I'm on a rampage this morning. I feel really good. I got some good rest in the La Quinta, not La Quinta. La Quinta. Have you ever tasted coffee before? And ain't been able to taste nothing for a week because the tip of your tongue right here is done turned black and withered away from the, the... It's hot. I mean, there's been a bunch of lawsuits from hot coffee. Look right here. But here's the thing. Caution contents hot. They didn't put on there caution Contents will burn your ass up burn your tongue in half where you can't taste Anything for a week Unbelievable I'm on a rampage this morning. Meanwhile We got six more hours y'all join us this morning. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, look pan the camera to the right Look who has just magically appeared and parked his stuff dead in the front of the building right here. So I'm waiting on Mark. Hey, you ever had coffee that's too damn hot? Hell yeah. Pull down before you can drink it. It's too hot. What's happening? What up, B? How you doing, buddy? Oh, you know, another day we got some straggling Jolly Ranchers running around. <laughs> <laughs> some peanuts. Hey, is this some Chick-fil-A sauce? Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah. Polynesian. Jolly Rancher, Hard King. We got D bombs, chatter base, frogs. Hey. How you been, buddy? I'm good, man. You ready to get I'm this well week rested, started? bro. You I'm ready good? to get it popping. Yeah. Does, does the La Quinta ride. treat you right? It was actually pretty nice for the room. Stink. No, nah, I make sure I ain't get 207. So What's we up? got 207. Don't What's stay up? at 207. Right. It smelled said, like boo boo. I rolled in, the girl was like, I said, Are you put me in any room but 207. And she had to think about it. She's like, Oh, yeah. Somebody did say a room stink. Yeah, man, y'all need to clean up around here, bro. Yeah, it smell like boo-boo. It smell like an old possum on the side of the road in the summertime. Walk up to him, poke him. Ooh, when that methane gas come out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to knock your nose off. <laughs> you gas or anything? No, nah, I'm hoping right this coffee does its job yeah, here in a minute. Fills that tank up. No, I'm hoping it oh, empties my bro, tank. hold on, wait. You ain't went yet? Something ain't right, bro. No, it needs to empty my tank. You need an Imodium AD, bro? Hey, look, we'll put this in the video. Hey, y'all are keeping, y'all are keeping track poopy, of my digestive poopy system. Poopy stoppers. What yeah, you I need something. man. Scooby snacks? No, I ain't been eating a lot of salads lately, but I ate one last night, so I'm going to bust off this. Usually, that'll make you go, I'm, bro. I may stop on the side of the interstate. You're low key, Like, bro. literally pull over right on the side of the interstate, yeah, exactly. in the median. That's going to have you hurt. <laughs> Not bro. on the right side, in the middle of the Ooh, interstate. <laughs> where play. people go left or right. It's just ass out. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, we call that pulling a Smith Lake. Ain't no yeah. doubt. I do that. I do that. Yeah, man. This thing is fell to damn pieces. What a dude. Oh my gosh. 
Listen, y'all go drive a 20 hour drive and tell me how you feel about it. Sandwiches falling to pieces, all we can eat is fast food. Dang. I got a grilled chicken sandwich from Culver's. Tip of the day, of the week. Don't go to a burger joint and get chicken. It ain't really that good. We're gonna try to get through this chicken sandwich. And then we're gonna go catch a few bass. So y'all just get ready, it's about to go down. I'm tired of driving, I'm ready to reel one in. for two straight days and I still have an iron 45. Then it's one o'clock in the afternoon. We're trying to get up here and catch some dag on big old large mouths. <laughs> Bro, I mean a monster drive. 20 hours. It takes 20 to get up here from my house. 20. Hey, it's a good drive though. I'm enjoying it. This is a pretty sucker right here. Wow, what a life. What is this little bitty jewel of a boat ramp that I might not even be able to launch in? What a life. I don't know, we just found a little jewel. I got old big cup. Let's just see what it looks like. Cause I want, it's so flat. My back tires get right there. Yep. And then once I get in there, it's, it goes up. See how it goes up? Yep. So if my tires are right there, my freaking trailer's gonna be right there and it ain't gonna be in the water low key. You can't launch a big boat right here. <sighs> Cause that's, dude, that's shallow right there. Yeah, I know, I see it. That's like bottom of your boat hitting the bottom shallow. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind going out there because that looks freaking juicy. You heard me? I hear you. Should we try it? Do y'all want to try it? <laughs> I don't know about it. You're definitely going to be in four wheel drive. It's just getting over that hump. That hump Yeah, right but once there. we get back up on there, I mean, you, you, you asking for yo, if this had a good depth to like it. a good slope it starts off right it looks good right there way down there and that's going to come back up a little bit so i'd have to back on in and honestly slam on the brakes and get out there are you asking to get stuck right here that's that's mark right there 100 percent back yep y'all look y'all look right here Right over there, baby. That's Mark Daniels Jr. He's gonna give us the prognosis of the day, and the prognosis is take this freaking vest off because it's hot. I don't know about it. It's too flat. And it comes up right there. So for you to dump in, oh, you get it right there. That's some people power load. You think I can get in right? Get it in right here? Yeah, it'd be right there. It'd come off. Like your back tire would be right there. What about loading it back up? Think it'd be tough? No. Put that jack plate all the way high. So you, you want to do it? Let's try it. I'll tell you what, let's, let's try it first. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to? I mean, if it, won't, if it won't back off, then we just pull it out. If I get stuck, I guess we'll just pull me out. With yeah, your truck. With my truck, yeah. With the boat hooked up. Yeah. We'll hook all, it to your jack plate. All four of them. Come uh, on. Yeah, we'll be straight, bro. All right, well, we'll try it. Let's I mean, try it. I, I mean, we, hey, was, we didn't came all this way. I heard there was big ones in here, though. They look good. Look at all this grass, bro. I'm already liking it. Up the nah, road. We, are, we are already here. It's going to get dark here in like three hours. Yeah. Let's try it. You want me to go first? I'll dump mine. No, nah, I'll go first. Risky business. Hey, we're going to try this. Come on, 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit it, Ducker. Okay. That ain't gonna work. We can't launch here. The boat's on the ass end. Oh, you can't launch there. Then the boat is sitting on the bottom. What? Yeah, you can't launch there. Ain't no is there way. No, nah, there ain't another one over here. Well, plan didn't work. Dang. I had a good feeling it wasn't going to work. So we'll journey on to the next one. Call it good. I don't know how to use this thing. We're recording, here we are. Boom, baby. Look at this freaking chop match right here. God, big dog. So we just launched at this little lake. I got Mark and them coming up behind me. We're on a lake over here near Minnesota. No, not near Minnesota, near Mille Lacs. And we've got a special treat for y'all. We gonna go flip up a couple of heads because I have not lit. I literally ain't caught a large mouth in ages. We got done at Cayuga. That was strictly small mouth for me. And all them other boys, they caught large mouth. Small mouth was the player there. And them heads about to play today, baby. So y'all join us. It's a beautiful day to go bass fishing. I'm thinking they gonna be on this outside line because the water's kind of low. This is why your boy, this is why your boy don't want to put no camera in his hand because I ain't got a damn clue how to use this son of a, how the hell? Yeah, I am. Is the light on? Hell yeah, I'm recording at the bottom. At the bottom? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. It's that, it's that button on top. I didn't hit the red button on top. I've been recording. I'm shocked. I didn't know. Dang, baby. I didn't know. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know a damn thing about this, but <laughs> I'm still recording. Did you make it work? Well, just did the intro, but I got my man in the house. This right here is a largemouth master. That's what look, oh, no. That, that's what I'm not. Yeah, you are. I, I, I like to think, I low key thought I was a smallmouth master. Just not at Cayuga. Just tell, tell him with the Cayuga Lake. No, 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 no. You caught some uh, big ones at Cayuga. I caught a couple guns, but man, I, I, I missed the boat on that deal, boy. Dang. Man, bad. I did not miss the boat. You on did that. not miss the boat, bro. You, you caught, matter of fact, you caught every one of them. That was awesome. That was in the lake. I don't boy, know. We're caught, gonna go. Bro. I have not reeled in a largemouth. I hadn't even went largemouth bass fishing in so long. It's been unbelievable. The last time I went largemouth bassing was on Watts Bar, low key. I caught some at Cayuga. And that, and that sucker wasn't no good. No, I, I caught some at Cayuga too, but it was. I like getting out a big flipping stick. Oh, Actually, yeah. your signature series stick, hey, MDJ the bad. seven eight. Seven eight, he ain't bad. I got him right here. That's that's him right there. I'm gonna rig him up myself. Got a little cigar on there. What what kind of braid is that? So this is that new braid they just came out with, that Tactex. Tactex. I like it, bro. It's a three strand braid and opposed to an eight, so it's kind of rough. Kind of give you that feel of the old school Power Pro. I love that. I know you like that. You always like was a big that. fan of that. Yes. And so actually, when I'm flipping grass. I like this because this will cut the grass a lot easier. Than it a does, lot of, don't uh, it? Of the smoother braids. Well, I tell you another advantage of that. Nothing against the SmackDown, but that the SmackDown is a little more clothy feeling. Yes, it's more sm smooth. It, yeah, it's smooth, which yeah. I have a little more resistance on it. So I got a new batch of the flipping braids. So let's see it right quick. Y'all thought, y'all thought I was trying to play y'all. What's the new saying? No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. Hey. Boy said, what's the new saying? <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's him right there. The seven. No, yeah. The seven eight. Not a six eight. I ain't throwing no jerk bait no more. Same flipping stick. And look what size weight. I got a one ounce weight right there. That low key with a bandito bug on there. That's a good fall, too. It's got a good. That's all the man needs. And you can get through the stuff. Oh, man. I don't even know. Look, look right here. Look at this. Look, look right here. Matt, right there. Oh. 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 
I don't know how to act today to get on this stick. Goodness. All right, boys, we're gonna get out here and get after it. So here's the plan. We're gonna add this in on the travel vlog. And if it gets interesting, we might just shoot another video. But for now, we're gonna keep y'all tuned in. So don't tune out. captured a green one baby that one i'm talking about he thumped it too boom son i have captured one a green one dang i finally caught a large mouth mm, it smells good too look at that right there baby oh that's what i'm talking about on the bandito mm. thick wind-blown mat okay Okay, okay. Let's see if there's any more through here. This lake was called Lake Boring, but it's not boring. <laughs> ah! Right there, boys. Guaranteed bite. Watch this, boys. Y'all ready? Here comes another one. Y'all want another one? Hey, right, look. All right, so look. Y'all ready? Even in the grass, you can put a little pattern together. See those isolated paths back there? Watch this. They're on them little pad patches inside that stuff. It's only really shady the guy. what I'm talking about right there son that's why we come right there actually we come for the brown ones but I'll take them green ones right now <laughs> freaking awesome Ooh. big shout out to uh Grand Casino Malax 
I appreciate the free stay. Gonna leave it there. Oh, there's a security guy right there. All right, man. What's up, big dog? Just getting back on property, so we're just swinging by. Thank you so much. Yeah. Everything good? Everything's great. Didn't have no issues last night, and then uh, we start up the tournament this week. Uh, to practice tomorrow, tournaments this weekend. Okay. Good luck. So, good yes, luck. sir. Appreciate it. We're just admiring everything. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you all. Yeah, yeah, we got fish envy. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, man. Y'all have a good day. Appreciate the free stay. I doubled down on the right ones. I feel good about it. Brett feels good about it. I feel good about it. He does feel good about it for the one time ever. So I'll give you a quick little fun fact. I don't think, I mean, I'm, I'm going to play a little blackjack every now and then, but. <laughs> every now and then? I'm not good at it. I suck. But I will tell you this, they got me last time I came here in pre-practice. They got me. But not last night, baby. I got you, baby. We got to catch a largemouth for the thumbnail. They do not. Y'all yeah. don't <laughs> fool with smallmouth videos. We don't figure y'all out. Y'all think y'all slick. You put a small mouth on a daggum video, nobody wants to watch small mouth. We putting this in the video. And by the way, these right here, trashy, nasty. Some kind of true north seltzer. But is that alcohol? No, this this ain't no like white call. This is energy seltzer. Huh. They're trash. It's literally half full. It looked trash though to it, begin it with. It is, watch this. This is what it's good for right here. Trashy. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't like smallmouth videos, so we're not gonna go shoot a smallmouth video. We done with smallmouth. We're done with smallmouth forever. I'm gonna large my fish on Milax this yeah. week <laughs> for y'all. It ain't about me paying my bills. Nah. Cut all the grass off and go beat the bank. That's what viewers want to see. They want to hear that braid crying, bro. That's what viewers want to see. What I want to see is trophies. Hey, real talk, I'm back on these melons, y'all. Just in case y'all might have not known. That's it. Hey, uh, I, I gotta give you credit. A green bean is a fruit. Man, look, y'all be thinking I'll be bullshitting, right? Your boy, I, first of all, well, I graduated, my degree is in environmental science. I worked in agriculture for six years. I worked for the USDA for three years. Your boy knows his plants and nature, bruh. There's biology. And then there's culinary. In culinary, they would say it's a vegetable. Oh, exactly. But biology. Okay. That's what we, I'm talking about real life. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't talking about culinary. I'm talking about living bio means life. You feel me? Yo, boy, stick with me now. You learn something. I'm following you, DC. Let's go catch these large mouth. Wink, wink, small mouth. <laughs> ah! Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go smallmouth fishing today with no graphs on. Ooh, hey, Loki. Hey, that might actually be a good ass video. That'll, that'll make people happy. All the people crying about live scope and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna go smallmouth fishing today. Go with smallmouth no fish with no graphs on. on. Take all four of your graphs off. That's it. And see what we catch. Yeah. Not a damn thing. <laughs> that's what they that's what they want to see. Please, somebody, somebody fix this controversy. Y'all hate electronics because it's ruining the sport. Right. But y'all want to advance the sport and catch more bass. Y'all can't have it both ways. Okay, you pick one. Y'all want to catch more bass, have cool content. We want to catch bigger fish and more fish and learn more about the sport. But you don't want progression of the sport with electronics. Change the live bait then. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense to me. Okay. Go ahead and mail axe. No maps. You don't know where no reefs are. None of it. You just bobbing around. You just bobbing around. You're just fishing. pitching stuff around. You fishing the fish habitat buoys. That's all you're doing. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. So then we got all the 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 I don't even care if we post this or not. We got all the uh hypocritical people that are like, it ain't all electronics, it's just live scope. What about 360? Okay. What about side imaging? 
What about down imaging? Don't think I can't go out here and bust them on down imaging. Perfect example. Hey, look, Mark Daniels. Got him a, a blue trophy, no live scope, drop it on their head, and seven foot, but you <laughs> use your electronics, you won a tournament. Hell yeah, you had to. You got you to. You had to. Hey man, y'all want some of this melon? Nah, man, I want no melon. Look, let's go to this clear water lake. Hey, I remember Men's Society. Hey, y'all want these cheeseburgers? Y'all remember about that. Oh, dog, y'all don't know about that, bruh. Nah, I ain't hey. heard that. Hey, I'm following you. Alright, follow me. Let's go, uh, Let's cut these graphs off. <laughs> they off for now. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey. Win in Minnesota. Hey. Win in Minnesota, baby. Listen, so I gotta step in here for a minute. I need y'all to appreciate that I know this video is bouncing around everywhere. You gotta understand who DC is. My job is not easy. This is this is where it's, 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 it's this rod is legit. It is, dude. I mean, I cracked them on it yesterday. Yeah. Look, man. When you're in Minnesota, every now and then you have to stop on the side of the road. I got a, I got a license. Now, yeah, you legal? Because they out in the middle. Probably. It's summertime. Hey, update. Travel vlog. I did not get a blow up on a frog in that little pond right there felt good about it I just went with it so we're gonna go launch this other lake up here see if we can get us another little bite beautiful weather though feels good 72 degrees calm winds tomorrow is gonna be absolutely blowing its freaking head off so oh well we're gonna enjoy the weather while we can dock it off somewhere on the, on the bank Whatever you want to do. Or you can just fish out of your boat. Just power a pole down. Anybody out here? There's nobody else There's out nobody here. There's nobody out here. Where are they sparking at? They're on a nature hike somewhere. Yeah, they, they, they're hiking. They're probably in the woods smoking dope. Probably. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's ever them, Mark Daniels. That's, that's it. Is them, uh, is them bait balls out there? Like just roaming oh, around? Look at them. Oh. Yeah, I see them. They're, they're, they're out here. Oh, he's. Right, we figured them out. These are large mouth out here. Are these large ones? Yeah, these are large mouth. Well, I figured them out. I'm good in them. Give me a picture. Good one, too. Oh, it sounds good, buddy. No, mine's a small mouth. Large mouth and small mouth. Damn good large one. Alright, we figured them out. We just had to get to the right look. Get in the zone. A little zone, baby, doubled up. Straight doubled. Hey, look. You got the I got the green. You got the brown. Look at that, baby. Hey, look. A little multi-species multi fish. Hey, bump. Look how small his mouth is. Boop. Look at that. Look, look, look. He look. He can eat him. Let's see. He could. He could eat him. All right, let's see. He could. He could eat him. Doop. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all guys. Good. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. We finally got a bite, bro. So here's what here's what I need y'all to do. I'm going to hurt y'all's feelings real quick. Mark, what are we about to do? You We're going to end the fishing trip oh, right yeah. now on the travel vlog. Y'all need to tune in until the next episode because we just found them. About to Mark, get stupid. Mark got out there and was like, oh, what is these? What are these? Minnesota bass, baby. I hate to do it, but you need a picture of that one. Catch y'all in, in, in here in a few hours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, let's go to the meet. Y'all join. Come on, hop on in. Well, we're here. I don't know where we need to be. This in the grass, right here. Yeah. Oh my God, what a drive. Dude, that drive brutal, man. It was it's like 30 tw hours 20, it was 20 hours. 20 hour drive. So practice starts tomorrow. Looking forward to it. We're on a uh, world renowned fishery. Malax.
or as Mark calls it, mile wax. 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 Y'all haven't reeled in many smallmouth this year. I, I have. Unreal. Unreal. Dude, I haven't been in any smallmouth tournaments. Hey, I asked Jacob. Hey, Jacob, hey, Jacob, <laughs> hey, Jacob said there is no way it's getting one on smallmouth in that tournament. Oh, relax. No. No, can you go? I didn't think it. He I, said no way. I did not. He, he said it's going to be one on large mouth. He never listened. Five miles from that Come on, come He <laughs> never <laughs> told me that. Yeah, he I told did. you that? Oh, he told me that. <laughs> No way! Hey, give me some right here, baby. Give me some time. In the, I remember on our video, I think I snuck it around. He said, I think DC's going to win by 20 pounds. Yep. It was like 16 or something. No, I was like 14. Cause I call him yeah, I swear. Every, every, every day he came in, he'd be like, man, I shook off 20. I know. I was I'm saying, like, there ain't no way, bro. God. Dude, I knew I was the best large mouth. The only other time I seen I you like that was the first event of the season. Where? Smith. Yes. No, that wasn't first event. The second. That was like the first one you won. Yeah. Oh, I found that in that knockout round. Oh, and I was right. like, bro. That's going to be all right. I said, they're there. <laughs> all right, so practice starts tomorrow. I appreciate you guys tuning in to the long, I was going to say a cuss word. It's a pretty long video. So it was like 40 minutes long. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. But we drove 20 hours, so we like, uh, practice starts tomorrow. Look forward to it. Smallmouth fishing. It's my second smallmouth tournament. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> May not reel one in, but we got a lot of wind coming tomorrow. 25 to 45. Jacob, close us out, Big Daddy. You guys, we'll see you at the next one.